Plastic Man is a superhero whose powers make his body like plastic. He can stretch it into almost any shape, including shape-shifting into different people. His real name is Patrick O'Brien, and this video is going to go over his origin. Now, there are many different versions of superheroes, but this video is going to focus on the origin story told in the animated TV show Batman the Brave and the Bold. Patrick O'Brien was a criminal who was nicknamed the Eel, or Eel O'Brien, because of his ability to bend like an eel and break into places that others couldn't get into. O'Brien was working as a henchman for Kite Man, until one night on a robbery with Kite Man, they were attacked by Batman. He ambushed them and engaged in a fight with Kite Man, and his henchmen could have fled, and one of them actually did. But O'Brien went back to collect the money, as he was too greedy to let it go to waste. And then, while he was flying away on his kite with the cash, Batman threw a batarang at him that caused him to lose control of the kite and fall into a vat of chemicals that transformed his body and gave him his Plastic Man powers. Plastic Man then spent months recovering from this, with Batman feeling partially responsible for it. And then when O'Brien was better, he testified against Kite Man, and with his testimony, they were able to put him away. And because of this, the law went easier on O'Brien. And so, when O'Brien was up for parole, Batman came in personally and vouched for him, and was able to convince the parole board to release him into his custody. And so, Eel O'Brien the criminal turned into Plastic Man the hero, fighting alongside Batman and many other heroes from the Justice League. And that is his origin. It's a little simple, I know, and quite a bit cliched. After all, falling into a vat of chemicals is not very original, and it's pretty much a comic book writer's easy way of explaining how someone got their superpowers. But even so, it's not the worst origin. We have a criminal working for a supervillain, reforming into a hero. Again, a bit of a cliche, but it's still a good story. And though Plastic Man is a bit of a goof, and mainly just used as the writer's comic relief, the character still has his moments. And his powers make him pretty much indestructible, but they are very undefined as he is able to transform into nearly anything, including a car that seems to have an engine and drive like a normal car. It's a bit of an odd power set, but you just have to go with it. Thankfully, Batman the Brave and the Bold has that corny silver and golden age comics theme to it, so it makes believing in Plastic Man's powers pretty easy. But what do you think of Plastic Man's powers? And what do you think of him as a character? And what do you think of his origin? Be sure to let us know in the comments. And I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that is helping us to bring you more videos each week and to raise funds for adapting comic book stories into short animated films. If you're interested in donating or just want to find out more, a link is in this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.